The telecom industry has always played an essential role for society to function, but what it looks like has evolved throughout history. Let's rewind history a bit. Whoops, <laughs> not that far. Okay, much better. Before telecom networks existed, the only option to send information at a distance was the postal system, which was slow and not always reliable. A much faster form of communication emerged in the 19th century. The telegraph allowed for nearly instant communication by transmitting pulses of electricity between two points over copper wires. By translating these pulses into letters using Morse code, messages called telegrams could be sent across a great distance. By the end of the 19th century, the telegraph was replaced by the telephone. This allowed for sound waves produced by people's voices to be converted into variations of electrical current which then traveled across wires to another telephone, where they would be converted back into sound waves. This opened up instant communication to all of society. The next phase of telecom came in the early 20th century, with the advent of radio waves. While prior technologies only sent information from point A to point B, radio waves allowed information to be broadcast out to many endpoints simultaneously. Thousands of people spread across the country, could now receive the same information at the same time. Towards the end of the 20th century, cellular networks were developed, which used radio waves for two-way voice communication to and from wireless phones, aka cell phones. Communication could now happen anywhere at any time. Since its first implementation, cellular technology has rapidly advanced through a sequence of generations, each one faster and allowing more data transmission. The first generation, or 1G, only allowed voice calls. 2G added the ability to transmit small amounts of data, introducing text messaging. 3G increased data transmission speed up to 2 megabytes per second, enabling the first smartphones with full internet capabilities. 4G increased the data speed another 10 times, with speeds up to 20 megabits per second. This now allows for streaming HD video content, including live video chats. And we're currently at the beginning of the fifth generation of cellular technology, which will exponentially increase the amount and speed of data sent across the wireless network. This will allow us to stay connected with each other in brand new ways that haven't even been invented yet. This primer will explore the modern telecommunications industry with a deep dive on consumer wireless communication. Specifically, we'll answer the following questions. How does telecommunications work? Who are the major players in the telecom ecosystem? What services do telecom companies provide to their customers? What drives profitability for wireless telecom companies? How do wireless telecom companies compete? And what are the major trends currently impacting wireless telecom? Let's get started.